Hello, welcome. Today we're going to learn how to create this auto text rotation effects on a button, icon, or an image. As you can see from the left side of this web page, we are going to learn how to do this without any plugin, just uh, Elementor Page Builder, and a little bit of CSS code. I'm going to make sure this is going to be very simple and straightforward. So stay with me. It's not going to be very difficult. And not just that, we are also going to learn how to overlay elements over each other, like how we place this text over this other element, this button or this icon, or we can practically use anything for that. Okay. By the way, my name is Manuel from Kata Studios, who will be starting up fresh by creating a new layout. So like always, we are going to create everything from scratch. So we're going to create a section. And in this section, we are going to make sure that it's boxed. It's okay. We're going to squeeze this down to a percentage ratio. Okay, I will make sure this is 100%. No, let's just make this 90%. Uh, 90% uh, is okay. And I think that is okay what we have from there. Next thing we need to do is to make the mean height, like the height we want for the element. We have to select the VH and we can expand the mean height to whatever size we want this particular uh, design to have. Let's just go with 60. And next thing we can add a padding top and padding bottom so that we can have a little bit of space. Let me just show you what that simply means. So if for instance, we copy this element and we paste it here, it's gonna just stack at the top. So we want to give it a, a little bit of breathing space from the top side. So we're gonna do that with the padding. So padding top, we give it a little, I think padding top should be coming from the section, not from the element inside, okay? All controls from the parent container. Now we are going to give it a padding top of about, let's say 80 or so, I think 60 is okay, fine. So our text effect is going to be below here. But one thing again, I want us to do is possibly we can increase the width of this particular layout. Let's just make it a hundred percent. Okay. So fine. We have this at hundred percent so we can drop our next element. Now this is just the base. The next thing we need to do here is to add the other forms of elements, but we could practically drop in a container here and drop in another container. But before then, let's just make this hundred percent like always. Why we are doing this is so we can separate this text from the element we want to create. So this container we dropped here, we are practically going to drop another container inside of it. Now watch what happens. This container inside of it, we are still going to make it hundred percent and we can duplicate it now, okay? Duplicating means we have two containers inside one container. So the second, first container, which is the parent container controlling the two containers we just dropped in, in here, we are going to make that uh, horizontally aligned. So we can drop this text element by the left container and we can work on our, uh, our effect by the right container. Or possibly we drop this text by the right container and work on our element by the left container. You get the point. Furthermore, we can select this left container and give it a percentage width. But before we give it a percentage width, you are going to make this a full width. So I can give it a percentage width of whatever we want to. So let's give it a percentage width of 40. Since it is percentage width of 40, this second element will be percentage width of 60. But what happened is that it squishes this because we have to still switch this to a full width. Okay, so perfect. Now this element here, we have to make it 100% width. Custom, we make it 100%. We are going to talk about this in our future courses. Okay, so don't just bother about that. So now we have that one thing again we need to do or we may need to do is drop in another container inside of this one. This container is the one we are going to control which size we want it to actually consume or, or want it to actually contain. So we want this size to still be on full width, but the width is going to be around um, 62. So this is the place this circle is going to revolve around. Okay. So now what we need to do is to make, we are not going to, if we drop in an image here to create that styling would be a difficult thing for us to do. So what we need to do is to go to style and click on this and the image, we have to select an image, which we are going to use for that. So we select this first image. I want to show you a mistake you are going to, you are going to actually experience when you actually want to do this the other way. Now, in the image, we allow the image. We, let's just configure the image right now. We go to positioning. Image should be center, center. And attachments should be on fixed, on scroll, actually. Leave it at the default. Repeat. We don't want it to repeat as it is repeating right now. Okay? We want it just be a singular image. Display size, we want it to be cover. Cover means be at the full width of this particular uh, layout. 
So in this particular one, I want us to, let's go to layout, the height. We are going to go to VH and we are going to increase the height a little so it can accommodate that image. So this is practically the height we want for this. But what we want to build out will not work in this particular instance. Let me show you why I say so. Now we are going to drop in our text effect. Let's type in... Uh, we are going to use uh, the text part. This is what we are going to use to achieve this effect of text around uh, this circle. So we drop in our text uh, effect and we can start working on it. As you can see, it's already black. We can't do much on this. So type in the text you want to. So we're going to type in Kata Studios. Okay, so now we have the text we want. We can space out and uh, I'm actually typing this on the link area. So we're supposed to type this in here. Kata Studios space out and we type another Kata Studios. Now watch, I gave two slashes because I want a slash at this end and another slash at this end. That's the basic things we need to do. Now, next we have to select the path type. The path type we want to be circled and we got that. The next thing we may need to do is to select or change the color of this particular uh, typography. We can do that right from here. We want to select a white color and that's okay. We can check the typography. We change this to pop pins. And next thing we need to do is the thickness, 500. I think that is okay for what we want. Now we can further go to, I think, let's check out, let's clear out this link. We don't want this. Make sure everything is centered, okay? The text direction, leave this as it is. Show part, not necessary. show part. We show a line around that particular part. Now go into styling. The size of the uh, uh, element could be important, but we are going to deal with that when we deal with uh, the size of the text itself. The rotation, we can decide which side we want it to rotate from. Then in typography is where we can start increasing the size. So now whatever size we increase determines how it adjusts to it. Okay. So this is too big as you can see from there. What we can do is possibly add in more text if you want to. So if we leave it as so, it is okay. But if you want it to be more uh, easy on the eyes, we can add in another text. And now we can go into styling, go into typography, and we reduce the size of the text to make it match. Now, I want to point out something very clearly. If you have issues or situations like this where you are trying to make sure that the line here is equal to the line we have in the rest of the two and it's not happening, you can further go to your line or text spacing and just play around with your text spacing till it matches what you have from here and what you have also from here. So text spacing, I think 0.2 will make more sense. So now as you can see, we have it like this. And the problem is that it is not exactly like what we have from here. I see the image is at the center, but in this one, the image is not finding anywhere at the center because it's already the uh, box we actually created. Now, what we are supposed to do or what we, we are supposed to do is to walk around this content. Now, I want to take you back to Photoshop so that I will create this image we actually work on ourselves. So you see how it is created. This is just a trick I want to teach you. Okay, so we are going to take up this image and we are going to drag it into Photoshop. We created a art board of 2000 times 2000. Now, this is where the trick plays in. If you make this image full width like so and make this transparent by hiding these elements, it is okay, but it's going to still be as the way we want, as the way we have it now. Okay, now look at what we have if we import the second image which we used for this particular one. Look at what's going to happen from here. We are going to go to select the uh, div. We, we want to select the div guiding this. This is the div we placed the image. Remember, we didn't place an image element. We placed the div and make e the background the image element. Okay, so we select on that. Look at the one we used here and we import it. Just watch what happens. You see how it is now centered. You get the point. This is simply the trick we are actually trying to play here. So how do we achieve that from here? Very simple. You select on the image itself and reduce the size and make sure you give, make sure you pin it to the middle of that particular uh, artboard and give a little space where you want the text to revolve. This is simply the trick. Okay. What you need to do is now save your work as um, PNG, save to the desktop 
and we are good to go. Remember to always save as PNG, remove the background or unhide the background before you save this as PNG. So we are good with that. What we need to do now is to select on it and import our PNG. Let's go in and import that particular PNG which we actually created. So now we have our PNG in. Uh, let it load. Let it load. Fine. So now we can click on select. The PNG will be replaced with the one we created before and we have exactly what we want on board. Now we have an issue with the image uh, size so we can go back there and play around a little more. I think reduce a little so we can find the text. We lost our broader text. We're going to copy this. I wonder why this text is missing. Okay. We lost the text. I think it's an error. So we copy this text. We make sure. Just place text according to how much you think is enough for you. Okay. If you want it to be too bold, that is all up to you. So we increase this a little bit. Remember, we added a slash at the end. I wonder why the slash is not present. Okay. The slash is present at this other end. Let's add it to the other end. Fine. That's the walls. So fine, we have it as good as this. But we have just one more problem. The problem we are having is that this particular element is not centered to this image. How do we do that? Now we select on the div, okay, the text div, not the image now. We go to advanced and we go to, I think we can do that with the padding. Let's try padding stop. Um, that's cool. Okay, but I am not very comfortable with this. Not very, 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 very comfortable with this. Possibly the image we used. So we are good with this, okay? We are good because everything is centered. So you select on the text element and you give it a padding minus, a minus padding, or a, sorry, padding 12, or whatever padding you give to it, minus, or you can give it a margin minus, it will still result to the same solution we have here. Now, the problem we are having is that this image is too bold. So we have to reduce it a little more to satisfy what we need. So we save it again as PNG. So it's just about trial and uh, failure. And by so doing, you get to what exactly you are looking for. So we select on the div again, and we can now replace that image. Let's replace the image with the current one we just created. So wait a minute and we are good to go. Fine. So you see how it's going to space out now, okay? And we're having still the same problem. So we are going to go back here and let's find our text that is giving us that issue. We are going to copy this, copy, and we're going to clear it out. We're going to paste it again. Fine. So now we have the text and we have everything organized. As you can see, everything is well centered. So we are done with the first phase which is what? Placing this element, overlaying this element over the order. So the next is what? Making the rotation auto. One thing you can also do if you don't want it to be auto, if you want it to be based on scroll, is you can hit on advanced and scroll down to motion. And here in scroll effects, enable that. And in scroll effects, you want it to rotate, enable that. And you can create the rotation speed you want here. So whenever you're rotating, it's automatically rotating up and down. If you want it to rotate right, if you are scrolling down, it will be rotating right. But this is not what we want. We want it, remember we said we want it to be automated. So you're gonna, I'm gonna provide a link below this video. By the way, if you are enjoying this video, give it a like. It's going to help the, the algorithm share it to more people. Give this a like now. So just a few seconds, less wait. Just give this video a like if you are enjoying this video. Thank you very much. So now let's continue. You're gonna find a link in the description of this video, we are going to copy the CSS code which you are going to use for this text, okay? So you're going to find the link and copy the elements like so. Control C. When you select all of them, click on Control C in your keyboard to copy the elements. So now we go back to the text element, not the image. And we go to advanced, scroll down to you find custom CSS. So here is where you're going to click and you click on paste, Control V, paste this. Automatically, that starts rotating. If you want this to be faster, you are going to possibly reduce the speed. Okay? If you want this to be faster, all you need to do, let me zoom closely there. In this part, they say animation rotation. You are going to edit that 
to make it uh, five seconds one seconds will be more faster let's try to make this one second we see how fast that is gonna be so one second see how fast that it is so i think the best practice 30 seconds let it not be too fast let it not be too slow that's okay linear i think that's all you need to do from here the degrees and all of these the area of rotation and all of that i don't think these are necessary so these are basic things you need to do to achieve this same effect as we have from here if you want the image to be smaller you can still make it smaller from the trick i show you guys in photoshop you know what to do from there so that's simply you can use images here you can use buttons you can use whatever element you want to use if there is any video you want us to make based off on branding, logo design, you want us to make some tutorials on web design, tricks, just let me know in the comment section below and I will consider that and you will see it as a future video. So by the way, my name is Manevokata Studios. I hope you enjoyed this. Do have a wonderful day.